Hello everyone, welcome again to another Jira cloud tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to cover more about Jira projects that are supported in the cloud version of Jira and how to create different type of projects in the cloud version of Jira. So in the previous tutorial we have already seen how you can sign up and then go ahead and use the existing template that is available in the cloud version so we have used the scrum template to create a basic project in jira so this is our page so if we go back to the home page so basically if you just click on jira software here and on this particular page you will see that i have all the projects listed which are available so this is the project that i have created and you can see here it uh, the type is classic software right and the key and the lead so whosoever by default is creating the project so basically when we say uh, classic software creation it is only available or can be created only by the administrator of the jira software now because i have signed up as uh, or i have used my credentials to sign up for the jira cloud version so by default i am the administrator of the jira software but when you invite the new users then you have to make sure if somebody if you want to give access to somebody else then they have to be the administrator in order to create the classic software type now let's go ahead and see what all uh, options are available to create project in jira so here if you go to this projects uh, tab here at the top if i click on it you will see I have the option to view all the uh, projects as well as I have the option to create a new project right then similarly in the right hand side I have the option to create the new project so you can use either of the option I can click on this create project link here or I can click on this create project as soon as you will click on the create project you will be redirected to the project type page and in the cloud version of jira what they have done is there are two project types so the new project type that they have added is the next gen project so this is the important thing that you have to remember that there are classic projects and the next gen project in the cloud version of jira and this will help especially if you're going for any certification these might be some of the questions by atlassian certification team so um, these are two type of project and what is the difference if you just read through this particular page you will get to know what all differences are between the classic project and the next gen project now uh, next gen project uh, are basically you know jira software for especially for jira software cloud and they are easy to set up so they they are basically you know like easier to set up and maintain for software teams of all sizes these are best for nimble independent teams and it has limited feature and anyone can set up and maintain right so this is next gen project it is not necessary that you need to be an administrator of jira to create those next gen next gen project and that's why in the cloud version what they have done is they have included the capability of next gen project so that if somebody wants to quickly create a project in uh, a particular team they don't have to go to the jira admin and get the project created now in the classic project this has controlling consistency across many team and it is full feature feature set and it is exactly you know like uh, you you can imagine it as similar to what the jira uh, server version is so whatever functionalities are available in the jira server version in the classic project you will see the exactly same features uh, and these classic project are set up and maintained by the administrators so here are some of the differences in terms of features so if you see the classic feature you will have the option for the roadmaps roadmaps is also available in the next gen project but then there are advanced roadmaps card layout customization um, you know reports are limited in the next gen project so only four reports are available if you create a next gen project estimations are available um, but then workflow editor parallel sprint detail permission cross project setup and quick filters are not available in next gen project so if you talk about the comparison of next gen project with the classic project the only thing that is 
available in next pro next gen project is roadmaps reports which is limited reports basically four reports and estimation estimations um, if we go to the classic project you will see 20 plus reports are present and these reports are similar to what we have seen in the server version of jira and we'll also see in this particular cloud version of jira so if you want to create a next gen project for example you can sing, simply select the next gen project since we have already created the classic project when we signed up for jira let's go ahead and create a next gen project if you want to get more about the next gen uh, you know growing feature set so this is still a growing so you can simply go th to this particular link and then you will you you can read all the details about the next gen project what all things are available so a lot of information on the atlassian website for the next gen projects as well so i'll simply select next gen project enter the project name so i'll say rcv uh, let's say next gen right and you can see that the key has been automatically chosen you can change it if you want i'll keep it as is and then you have the option to choose the template let's see if you click on tell me more it will give you the details of that particular template that is available so agile development team can use next gen kanban template to plan and deliver work in the continuous flow or track work using simply simple board or use the board to limit work in progress right so we'll just dis we'll discuss kanban features in more detail in upcoming tutorial if you want to change the, this template for you know next gen project click on change template and in the next gen project you will see that there are two templates available kanban and scrum and here you have the jira software because we are signed up in the jira software so just that particular product is available so I can change it to Scrum or just leave it to Kanban. Okay, so let me select Kanban and then simply create. And once I'll click on create, it will create a next gen project that I have chosen. And I'll be redirected to the same page where I have this Jira quick start information to basically project is created. Then I can go ahead and create an issue or invite the teammates, explore the integration options and find other help that is available let me close this quick start and now on this particular project you can you can see if i select that drop down you will see that rcv next gen software project has been created and this was the previous project that got created right so on this particular in this particular project you can see that the board has already been created and i have to do in progress done columns already available i can you know add more columns on this particular board if i want say i'll say you know in review right and then i can simply um you know drag and drop so i can say to do in review in progress done so to add the column on this particular next gen project it's pretty simple just add a plus icon here to add the column right but there are limitations in the next gen project which we'll understand in the more detail when we go to the advanced section what you can do and what you cannot do in the next gen project then here you have the left hand side in this particular project you have the roadmap which is nothing but basically you you what all features or what all work that needs to be done so you can manage your work through epics let me just go next uh, you can understand the progress this is the quick information that is available and then you can also visualize the dependency okay so we'll cover all these in detail so in the roadmap what basically roadmap is whatever work that needs to be achieved you can create that particular work in the form of epic in this particular next gen board which is the uh, using kanban template then you have you know this code option okay so we have seen the board the roadmap the code so basically this is the integration part of this particular project if you want to integrate with bitbucket or other development tool then you can use this particular page to uh, achieve the integrations with the development tool so you can 
create an automated DevOps workflow and minimize context switching between Jira and Bitbucket. So you can have that integration in place right from Jira cloud with the tools to avoid the switching between the tools. Then pages is for the confluence. Now you can see that we have already chosen confluence when we signed up for the Jira cloud version. So that is why this confluence is by default available for us in the integrated manner in this particular project as well. So I can uh, use uh, these particular uh, features to create uh, the product requirements retrospective or meeting notes. And then this project, uh, I can connect to a confluence space to use pages right so first thing i have to do is i have to connect this particular project to the confluence space and if i click on connect a space then i can provide the details of the space so what what uh, till now i haven't created any confluence space so in upcoming tutorial i'll create the space and then connect to that particular space in order to use the pages okay but these are the pages that will be helpful in the particular project to doc to store any sort of documentation be it you know like meeting requirement retrospective or product requirement or any decisions or any you know other information okay um, then if you go to the add item you can you know add an item for example a link if i want to add a link to a particular you know um, say for example website okay so i want to add a link say here to my particular website rcv academy Dot com I can provide the URL the web address and I can say RCV website I have to basically include HTTPS right and then click on add right so I have added this shortcut here and you can see RCV uh, website shortcut has been added if I want to add some other say for example repository I can add the repository link and the name. So the dev repositories or the Bitbucket repository um, that might be used in the particular project. So I can use that, provide the name, click on connect, and that link will be available as shortcut in this particular project, which will, which will be really handy and helpful for the developers or the members of the team that are working in this particular project. Then the project settings is basically the project or the project uh, settings or the administration functionalities for this particular project, which we'll cover in a lot more detail when we go to the administrative section of the uh, this particular tutorial. So this is a brief introduction of the Jira and a different type of projects that are available in the Jira cloud version. We have seen the classic projects and the next gen project. We have already created the classic project. I'll cover a bit more about the classic project in the next tutorial but in this tutorial we have covered a lot more detail about the next gen project and walk through some of the um, you know links and capabilities that are provided by the next gen project so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial let me cover a bit more detail about the classic project and then we'll go ahead by creating the issues in jira thank you